Okay, we're going to be discussing area of sectors, segments, and annuluses. These are all parts of a circle. Okay, the first one we're going to talk about is sector. It's the region between two radii of a circle and the included arc. Okay, when it says included arc, okay, that is this portion of the curve of the circle that's enclosing this sector. We can, there's going to be a degree of this arc, and the arc degree is going to be equal to this interior angle degree. So we will call the arc A over 360 times pi r squared. And that is the formula for area of a sector. Okay, we'll do a few examples here in a minute. The second portion, or second um, part of a circle we're going to talk about is a segment. Now a segment is a region between a chord and a, of a circle and the included arc. So we just discussed that this would be the arc. Okay, so we'll call that A. Okay, a chord is a line segment that goes across a circle. It has endpoints on the circle. Okay, so this would be your chord. Okay, to get the area of this enclosed segment, you're going to take the area of the sector, which we just talked about, and subtract the triangle. Now you can't see that unless you draw these radii. So if I draw a radius to the endpoints of the curve, I'm sorry, the chord, okay, you see this triangle is formed. Okay, if I include the triangle, I have a sector, which we just talked about. Okay, so I'm going to take the sector and subtract the area of the triangle. So as a formula, that looks like A over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so that's the sector minus area of a triangle, which you know is base times height over 2. And the, this will be the area of a segment. And again, we'll do an example here momentarily. Okay, so now it's the annulus of the circle. That's the third portion of a circle we're going to talk about. And it's the region between two concentric circles. Concentric circles are two or more circles that have the same center. So here's the center of my smaller circle. And it's also the center of the larger circle. Okay, so those are concentric. Okay, you can think of a target or a bullseye when you think of concentric circles. Okay, um, each one has its own radius. Here's the radius of the smaller circle. And we'll use a capital R to represent the radius of the larger circle. Since we have two radiuses, we want to distinguish them. Okay, to find the area of the annulus, that section between them, okay, um, and you'll think of this as a donut or a tire, okay, it's the area of the big circle minus the area of the smaller circle. Okay, so area of a circle is pi r squared, okay, and I'm using the big R because it's for the big circle, minus pi r squared, and I used a small r for the smaller circle's radius. Okay, so now let's try a few examples. Here's some straightforward examples that just want the area of the shaded region, so this black region. Okay, in the first one, okay, we are given a radius of uh, uh, 9, okay, and we're told that this interior angle is 120 degrees. Now we said that the A is going to be equal to the interior angle, so my arc degree is also 120. So my formula here was A over 360 times pi r squared. Okay, so for this sector, I'm going to take 120 over 360 times pi. My r is 9, and I need to have it squared. Okay, so 120 over 360, that'll actually reduce. Um, so 120 goes into 360 three times, so this is 1 third pi 9 squared is 81. Okay, we want to keep our answers in terms of pi. Okay, in terms of pi means leave pi in your answer. So when you go to type this in your calculator to solve, don't type in pi. 
okay? So you would just say one third times 81, okay? And that gives you 27, okay? So 27, and we're leaving pi in the answer. We didn't type it in, so pi is still here. So 27 pi, and this measurement was in feet. Okay, area is going to be squared. So 27 pi feet squared is the area of that sector. Okay, if your choices had just decimals, then they would actually want you to be multiplying by pi. And there is a pi button on your calculator. It's um, just under the clear button, and you'll have to hit second, and then the button and pi will come up. And uh, if you are to get a decimal, I want you using the pi button. If you are to get a decimal, I want you to use the pi button, not 3.14, because that is uh, rounding too soon, and so your decimal will be slightly off. Okay, so uh, here, this is a segment, and our angle, we're told, that is 90. So that means my A is also 90 degrees. We're told that the radius is 12. Okay, so to find this shaded area, I'm going to find the area of the sector and then subtract the area of this triangle. Okay, well if this radius is 12, this radius is also 12. So we have A over 360 times pi r squared minus base times height over 2, the area of the triangle. So my A is 90, my radius is 12, my base and height of my triangle. Now remember, base and height have to meet at a 90 degree angle. Well, this is a 90 degree angle. So my base and height are the 12 and 12. So 12 times 12 over 2. So here, area of my triangle, 12 times 12 is 144 divided by 2 is 72. So here I have 72. 90 over 360 reduces to 1 fourth. 12 squared was 144. Can go ahead and reduce a little bit more. I have 1 fourth times 144 gives me 36. So I have 36 pi minus 72. Now, if they tell you to leave it in terms of pi, this is as far as you can go. You can't do 36 minus 72, because 36 has this pi here. It's kind of like a variable. You can't combine it, because they both don't have the pi. So you would say 36 pi minus 72, and this is meters, so area is meters squared. Okay, our third example is an annulus. Okay, and remember, this is the big circle minus the small circle. So pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. My large R is 5. My small R is 2. 5 squared is 25. So we have 25 pi. 2 squared is 4. We have 4 pi. Now these both have pi in them, so I can combine them. So 25 minus 4 is 21 pi. This is in inches, so your area would be inches squared. That is in terms of pi. If they ask for a rounded decimal, you would type in 21 pi and get 65.97. So that's 65.97 square inches. Okay, those are the ones where all you do is plug straight in and solve. There are occasions when you may have to work backwards. So I've put a couple of, of those examples in. <clears throat> this tells you our shaded area. So they're not asking for the area of this uh, sector. They're, you're given that it's 14 pi centimeters squared and that the radius is 6. So here's my radius. We want to know the angle in degrees. Okay, that's what we want to know. So area is A over 360 times pi r squared. We know that area is 14 pi. A is the, what we're looking for. If you want to replace it with x, you can. Pi r squared is 
pi and the radius is 6. So go ahead and square your 6. That's 36. Okay, so now we're going to work on getting x by itself. Okay, this, everything over here can be written over 360. So you could go ahead and combine this, or if that would confuse you, we can do it separately. It, it, either way is fine. Okay, so I'll just do it separately for now so you can, uh, it looks more familiar to you. Right now, this is being multiplied by pi 36 or 36 pi. So to get rid of that, we will divide by 36 pi. And what we do to one side, we have to do to the other. Okay, so those end up canceling out. And over here, pi over pi cancels. Okay, so we have 14 over 36, which we can reduce. Okay, uh, that reduced is 7 over 18. Okay. Okay, and we're left with x over 360. Okay, so now this 360 is being divided. So to get rid of it, you could multiply by 360. And what you do to one side, you have to do to the other. And it cancels here. So I have 360 times 7 over 18. So x is 140, and this is an angle, so that is degrees. Okay, so for this one, the shaded area is an annulus, and they tell us it's 32 pi meters squared is the area. They want to find little r, which is the radius of the smaller circles, and they give us the distance across the larger circle. That's diameter. Okay, and remember diameter is twice the radius. So my large radius, okay, radius of the large circle is going to be half of that, which would be 9. So I'm going to use that and I'm going to plug it into my formula. Okay, remember annulus is pi big R squared minus pi little r squared. Okay, plug in what we know. Area is 32 pi. Big R is 9. Okay, so 9 squared is 81. Equals 32 pi. Okay, now I'm going to try and isolate the little r. So I want to move everything to the other side. My first step is going get, to get get rid of this that's being added. Okay, yes, this is a minus, but this is a positive pi 81. So I'm going to move pi 81. And you can write it as 81 pi or pi 81. That's the same thing. So over here, since it has pi at the end, I'm going to write it that way. Same thing. Okay, so when I solve this, I have 32 pi minus 81 pi. And that gives me negative 49 pi and I have a negative pi r squared left. Okay, don't forget to bring down that negative, that's important. Okay, so now I want to get rid of this negative pi. This negative pi, it's not being subtracted from r squared, it's being multiplied. So we're going to divide it out. Okay, so these negatives cancel each other out, and these pi's cancel each other out. So you're left with r squared equals 49. And then I hope by now you know to get rid of a square, you do the opposite which is square root. So r is 7, and this was measured in meters.